Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we have just come to the end of 2022. And what a year it's been for QuickBooks Online. Now, over our podcast, QuickBooks Labs, we went through and we looked at all the features being released in the year and we decided where they should rank in terms of the best or the last, basically. And I want to share that list with you now. So if you weren't able to watch that podcast, well, first of all, why weren't you watching the podcast? But second of all, then we can go through with it in more detail on this channel so you can understand which feature release within the QuickBooks Online family was number one in 2022. Who gets the award? Well, let's find out. Roll the brand new intro. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer, a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Buffix. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the world of QuickBooks Online and what features came in 2022 and what we voted to be the best one out of them. So without further ado, let's go and have a look at the list itself and explain which ones we're going to be talking about. Well, here's the screen in front and we're going to reveal what we need to show you. So first of all, let's just see the ones that didn't quite make it. Um, basically, the landlords feature, we're excited to see that. That's not actually been released in 2022, so we couldn't actually put that on the list. And the new burger button, people that don't know, the burger button has now had a bit of an update. I think, personally, it's one of the most important updates of all time, but unfortunately, it wasn't deemed as a big enough update to make it to our list. So what was our first one? to bring it through. Now we put this down as what we would put class as mayor. What we're saying here is, yes, it's a feature and yes, it's fine that it's come out, but it really inspires us. And that was all to do with the new customer view. So number one was the new customer view. And you can see this really straightforward. So I jump into a customer, press new customer, then I get this new fancy, more compact view on the right hand side. And that's what we voted as probably the less most impressive update of 2022 uh, but it's an update nonetheless and the idea here is because it's more compact you can still see the left hand side of the screen it should be more intuitive to work with so you can see why it was introduced what i personally think is there's more features coming later down the line that this is going to help but in 2022 we didn't really get those new features the only one new feature we got with this new view was if i went to suppliers went new supplier then I had the option to choose my default expense category, which could be a bit of a game changer for some of you out there. What was our next one down the line? Well, it was Merge Contacts. Merge Contacts itself, as you'll see as we go into back into where we were, Merging Contacts was actually quite a tricky thing to do most of the time. Most of the time, if I wanted to merge a contact, the only thing I could do was edit the name override the name to something that was already there, then it will pop up, do I want to merge contacts? Well, now we get this whole new feature where we can use this drop down arrow, press merge contacts, and we can choose which contact we want to merge from into, and it will do all that bit for us. The reason we didn't put this up higher up the list is the fact that, well, the functionality was always there, albeit very, very hidden, and realistically, what this has done is just made people more aware of that merging functionality. We like it, but realistically, this should have been here from day one. Okay, now we've moved from the mare con content and we've moved to the great content. So let's go and see at the start of our first one over on the far right hand side. So this was the one that we deemed to be probably the least great of all of them, but still great. And that was that audit report now shows exceptions. Again, with this whole idea, the idea would, if I went to taxes and VAT and I wanted to have a, an audit report, using download order report just here, then ultimately before, I had to be really careful about the audit report because it wasn't telling me the exact picture. It wasn't telling me if there was any exceptions that happened in the period. Now, what are exceptions? Well, they're transactions you've amended on a previous VAT return that you want included on this one. So your adjustments, basically. That audit report looked brilliant in terms of giving you all your content and having all this data. So if I brought this in now, I see it's a great little breakdown of everything you need to basically understand what's going to happen within QuickBooks Online, but it never used to show what I'm showing here, the exception report. So it always was a case that you could want, you could see that audit report, but ultimately that could be different to what you were filing. That was really dangerous. This has been updated now, and that's why it gets our 
first option in the great section because we know that's going to be something that's really useful. Again, we just wish it was there since day one. The next one along is unfile your VAT returns. This is a feature that's been asked for for a while, but basically now if I went to a VAT return that's already been sent up, you can see here we've already unfiled some. But if I've gone back to a, a file that we've put in recently and I view the return, then I have the option down here to unfile the return as well. Why that's useful? Well, that means that you can align all your VAT returns ready for maybe moving to MTD, or if you're moving from one solution to another, you can make sure you get all that data in properly. You always had the ability to unfile, but you had to call up care team to do it for you. You had to be on the phone or on chat waiting for them and normally had to give them a reason as to why. Now you don't need to do that. You can do it directly in the software. We love it. It caught into our great category and it was our second great one. What was above that though? Well, the new left-hand navigation. So within QuickBooks Online, you'll notice on the left-hand side, I have the QuickBooks and the left-hand navigation we all know and love. But if I go to the company cog and I switch to business view, well, we have this whole brand new left-hand navigation on the left-hand side, which gives us a lot more options. We use this little pencil at the top to customize to our heart's content, maybe get rid of some so solutions you don't need anymore, or add some more bookmarks to something that you do need. And at the bottom here, you could set your own bookmarks. It's a whole new layout, so it does mean you've got to get used to it, but it is something that is well worth having, because what that means is people who are brand new to QuickBooks, they get a much more useful left-hand navigation that they can get their head around. Instead of having to kind of go through some of the stuff that we know and love, this is more in the kind of language that customers and clients are used to. For example, get paid and pay. Every customer and client knows what that means, so it's gonna make it easier for them. The next one was Work Papers Review. Work Papers was a great solution that was included in QuickBooks Online, and it gives us as accountants the ability to look at the data and make sure it's ready for things like final set of accounts. But what they brought into QuickBooks Online was the ability for us to not only prepare that we're saying we're happy that this has been done and we get tick marks, but also the opportunity to mark as reviewed. So maybe you've got a junior member of staff who's doing the most of the work. Now you could have your senior member of staff review it as well to say it's good to go. A very small but subtle change. And as work papers is gonna get even more important to us going forward, more on that later. So please do make sure you like and subscribe because this area here, this working papers is going to be huge for us in the future. Little idea like this, I've been able to put that little flair of change to it to make it even more useful, we absolutely love. So that's why it was so high within our list. Default expense of category. What if I go back to my banking area? A new and much loved new feature is the ability that if I was to go into here and I want to categorize and I made sure that a supplier had been set, then now I have the option for categorization history. And effectively categorization history is looking back at what people did in the past with that particular transaction and be able to give you insights into where you should put it. It's gonna show you the last used, the most used category that's been associated with this particular transaction, meaning that you're gonna have all the information you need to make the right call of what category to put it in this one. I love this feature. This has really helped our clients, it's really helped our staff be able to make sure that they're putting things consistently to the right place. Maybe, just maybe that person may have got it wrong the first time around, but it's so much easier as an accountant to see consistently something's gone to the wrong place than every time you go to it, it's gone to a different place each and every time. So I love this feature, big thumbs up from us, and that's why it's so high in the list. Next one's the new transfer option. So now if I transfer from one bank account to another, I now have the opportunity to not only transfer it from my bank account I'm in at this point in time, but also find the transaction in the other bank account and match them accordingly. Now, it's been a little bit hit and miss in some circumstances. There are some bits where you need to make sure prerequisite that it's working, active bank connection on each side to make sure it works. Um, and sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming, but it's a really, really useful feature. And it was one of those areas where clients were making the most amount of mistakes. They were transferring one to the other and then transferring it back and it was just, uh, it was just causing issues and problems. Now though, thanks to our new transfer solutions, it's never been easier. 
to do transfers. So it gets a thumbs up from us. And it was our third best great option within QuickBook. The next one, the uh, next one was obviously going to be included. It is the advanced solution within QuickBooks Online. We've done a whole video related to what QuickBooks Advanced has. And we've got a lot more content coming on it as well. So make sure you're subscribed to that. But ultimately, it gives us the opportunity to take QuickBooks to that next level. We're really excited what Advance has in the future. It didn't quite win this year because it's still a little bit half-baked in some circumstances. But we know it's going to be something that's going to come absolutely brilliantly. And we know there's some great features down the line. So again, make sure you subscribe to the channel to be the first to know about it. And then we can make sure that our QuickBooks Advance next year might just get even higher power list. And the final great solution that came out was test rule. Rules within QuickBooks Online is how you really automate your way around QuickBooks. It's how you can save so much time. There's very few features in QuickBooks that save as much time as rules can. But the one problem with rules is, is you always have that learning curve of trying to figure out exactly how rules work in QuickBooks Online. But this new feature, which is called test rule is all about making sure that once you've gone through and actually put that rule conditions in maybe it could be a rule where every time that you go to curry's pc world and the amount is over 100 pound then maybe you want to make sure that's a capital item as opposed to a expense item or whatever the rule is going to be well test rule gave you that opportunity to give you that thumbs up to go yeah actually that rule is absolutely right I'm going to be, go through and complete that rule. I'm going to maybe set it to auto add so I don't even have to think about it ever again. Test rule is a great solution to give you that confidence you've made that rule absolutely right. So that's why for me, it got that number one spot in the great category we're in, QuickBooks Online. And then finally, the game changer, the big one, the one that changes everything within QuickBooks Online. And this year we only had one item and that was the following. It was team certification. The idea and the reason we've put team certification down there as a game changer is for as an accountant, this changes the way that we can make sure our staff are always going to be up to date with the world of QuickBooks. Now I've said at the beginning, I am a certified QuickBooks trainer, which means I help out training other accountants and making sure that they are up to date with QuickBooks online. And the only way we can make sure that they are constantly updated is we introduce what's called recertification. And recertification means that if, the, if you have an accountant who is what's called a pro advisor, then they can only maintain their pro advisor status by recertifying them each and every year. So they know all these great features that have just been talked about now are actually available to them and they can bring them through. And they can use them to make sure that their clients are going to be using the most out of QuickBooks Online. So why is team certification so important? Well, it gives us, the accountant, the strength and the opportunity to go to one place, have a look at our whole team and see what certifications they've had and if it's expired or not. And that is really, really powerful because that means that we can make sure that our staff are always up to date with what QuickBooks has to offer. As you can see here, these staff members haven't done any of their certifications yet, let alone recertification. So I need to be making sure that they get on with it. And Steve Jobs, Johnny Ive and Tim Cook, you best look out because thanks to this game changing feature that I have in front of me, I now need to, I now know that you guys need a bit of a talking to. Absolute game changer. Couldn't have asked for a better solution. And that's why 2022 has been a great year for QuickBooks Online. But if you thought 2022 was a strong outing for features, just wait and see what 2023 has to offer. We were privileged enough to see some of the things that are being released. And my God, they are going to blow your mind. So if you want to be the first to know about these features, then you're already in the right place. So make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you're involved in the channel. And let me know in the comments below, what do you think is coming in 2023? Or what would you like to see coming in 2023? It's going to be a big year. It's going to be something that we can't wait to show you with. I've got lots and lots of content coming your way. So please do make sure that you are the first to know about it. My name's been Aaron Patrick. This video has always been an absolute pleasure. Don't forget to let us know below what you think is going to come out in 2023, or at least what you want to come out in 2023. Congratulations to the winner, the team certification. You guys are the game changer of 2022. Overall, it's been a strong year though, and each one of the contenders has gone that little bit further to make QuickBooks an even better solution.
My name's been Aaron Patrick. Can't wait to show you more of what's going on happening in 2023, especially with what's happening with Vance. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Play a little.